Alrighty, so this just ain't looking too good for Jonathan Majors, particularly when it comes to his future with the MCU. As you guys know, he's getting cancelled little by little right before our eyes and the rumor that he is going to be replaced as Kang the Conqueror in MCU Phase 5 set of movies that are going to be coming out over the next couple of years is getting stronger and stronger. So we have this report right here that states Jonathan Majors potential Kang replacement new rumor points to actor type being eyed. Now I'm sure many of you might have seen this rumor because it's all all over the place in the last 24 hours and i have a few things to say about this and one or two questions about the whole jonathan major situation because when it comes to the particular situation the math just ain't mathing so let's find out about this new guy who's going to be possibly replacing him maybe or maybe not and why i feel like it might be true that he would be replacing him i'm going to share my opinion as we go along please feel free to share your opinion about this whole thing in the comment section below without further ado here we go so anyways the person that is bringing this whole rumor to light or actually making speculations at this point in time i think is this guy called jeff snyder now jeff snyder is a film critic in hollywood and he's somebody who has worked with variety the collider and many other media outlets and he owns his own blog called the in schneider so according to insider jeff snyder now when i first read that i thought that jeff snyder is an insider with marvel but actually he's not in any case marvel studio is looking for a damson idris type actor if needed to replace place jonathan majors as the mcu's kang the conqueror so this is the guy this is the guy have you ever heard of him i've never heard of him uh this is the first time i'm hearing of him i don't know if i've seen him in a movie before or not i'm not too sure but that's the first time i'm hearing that name speaking on the hot mic podcast snyder brought up idris who is set to play opposite brad pitt in apple's upcoming movie set in the world of formula one so let's find out what this new guy is all about here's one i wanted to talk about did you see who got cast in that brad pitt racing movie damson idris i think he's from snowfall and so that's like a big part right that is the young hotshot racer opposite brad pitt in this 150 million to 200 million racing movie that was a big deal that he got that so he's trying to really big up this guy and if you guys really look at things from the perspective that i'm seeing this thing looks like a pr stunt for this guy because this story now has gone through cbr it has gone through the direct it has gone through many other outlets out there whether the variety rolling stone everybody has jumped on this and we are all now knowing who damson idris is i've never heard of this guy before so i think this is a pr move for this and this is now strengthening that rumor that there's a possibility because we are now having a face to the speculations of the person that probably might replace jonathan majors why am i feeling like this is going to be true if you guys recall less than a month ago kang actor jonathan majors made headline after he was arrested in new york city for domestic abuse allegations involving his unnamed girlfriend majors through his representative immediately denied the said accusations stating that the actor was the one who called 911 as he was concerned for his girlfriend's mental health according to his attorney priya chaudhry the performance legal team has quickly gathered evidence to prove Majors innocent, including text messages from the accuser, which reportedly recounted all accusations against Majors. Now, here is the kicker regarding this and why I am believing that there is a strong, strong point. There are certain strong points that may just might just be replaced by this new damson type or damson idris type act or whatever you want to call it one is this text message from jonathan major's girlfriend doesn't really paint jonathan majors in a good light at all and this is looking like more more like a setup to actually get him out of the way for some reason i don't know but it's not because he's black for sure if at all it is a setup i'm not saying that it is i'm just speculating at this point in the text exchange alleged between majors and the woman she wrote they assured me that you won't be charged they said they had to, to arrest you as a protocol when they saw the injuries on me and they knew we had a fight and this is confirming the thing that tmz reported that the police said that they had enough reasons to actually arrest jonathan majors after seeing what had gone down so it looks like it might have performed the act i don't know now this is the part where they said she recanted the woman who said she just got out of the hospital wrote I told them it was my fault for trying to grab your phone. So she didn't recant that the guy put hands on her. She's recanting that, oh, it's my fault that this all happened. So it seems from this text message that she's texting like somebody who is an in an abusive relationship but is blaming herself for the abuse that she is actually experiencing 
I don't know, but this is what it seems like to me. So the lawyers have said that they have video evidence to show that Jonathan Majors was innocent. What is withholding that video evidence till now? And why haven't they showed, if at all, anybody, the lawyers from MCU? Because the MCU has a strong investment on Jonathan Majors. And at this point in time, they would need some reassurance to show that, you know, um, he's innocent so that they can continue going on forward with their project with this guy but from all of these speculations that we're getting and the rates that many of these uh, outlets uh, access media and mainstream media are jumping on these stories and just by somebody saying something in a podcast well it's seeming more and more likely that the mcu might be considering doing away with jonathan majors because the way these people always act in hollywood is they treat men like as if men are guilty until proven innocent which is a very bad thing to do we saw them do this to johnny depp and we also also saw them do this to uh justin roiland of ricky morty the only person that has survived so far would be uh this guy with the infinity stones of wokeness in um ezra miller but outside of ezra miller whom right now uh warner brothers is saying that they're trying to look after his health or their health or however you want to say it other than him um the other people if you're straight and you're a male <laughs> you're probably being treated as guilty until you are proven innocent another reason why this speculation is looking more and more truth is this particular ad for ant-man that was placed on the twitter handle for the ant-man and the wasp quantum mania this is the promotion for the blu-ray release and there is no kang the conqueror on it however when you check all the releases before then before the event happened you will find out that there was kang the conqueror and if you keep on looking kang the conqueror i mean and this guy hasn't even gotten off this seat this seat is still warm and they're already pushing that there is somebody else that's going to replace him so it's looking more and more likely that he might get replaced and i might be wrong i'll put my hands off if i am but like i said the math ain't mathing if the lawyers know that they have video evidence they should provide it as soon as possible to get this guy out otherwise this is just going to linger on and the longer it lingers the more uncertain it it becomes for jonathan majors and if they don't solve this and nip it in the bud as quickly as possible this might hurt him more than we expect that it could hurt him even if it turns out that he is innocent so let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below smash the like button subscribe to the channel ding that bell for notification and i'll talk to you guys again real soon take care peace and sires out bye bye